Hey guys, my name is Rachel Robinson and today on Chapter 1 Live I will be reading from Crazy Good, which is my contemporary romance novel about a Navy SEAL. It is a standalone. I write long chapters so I'm just going to be reading from it. I won't be finishing it. <laughs> this is Chapter 1, Windsor, Present Day. A side light clicks on. Not even caring what or who turned on a light, I take in Maverick. He's battered and bruised, but he's here. He's alive. He is so perfect. Light brown hair peeks out from beneath the bandages around his head. His strong jawline has a sprinkling of scruff surrounding his pink lips. His hazel eyes are closed, but best of all, his chest rises up and down. A woman clears her throat. I startle. I'm going to ask one more time before I call security. Who the hell are you, she says. I see her then, her long blonde hair piled on the top of her head in a messy top knot. She is sitting on a cot covered in a sheet. I have obviously woken her up. I also realize I have no clue who the hell she is either. I take a step closer to the bed. I'm Windsor, I say. Forbes, the woman finishes for me, knowing eyes narrowing as she takes me in. Her voice is acidic. I'm not even sure how I know, but I do. With one word, the woman has said everything. She's involved with Maverick in some way. Who are you? I try to stop my shaking hands because I don't want to disturb Mab. Mav. I know people in a coma can sometimes sense or hear things. As horrendous as it sounds, I just hope he stays sleeping for a little bit longer. I'm his girlfriend, I proclaim. I never would have said something so bold before. The man unconscious in this hospital bed taught me to stand up for myself. She laughs. I should have called. Why didn't I call before I came here? I feel so stupid. And now, standing in front of another woman, I'm panicked, the sheen breaking across my forehead as proof. Sweetheart, I'm his wife, she says, motioning to her bed and her obvious family status. At once, it's like I'm the one with a body full of shrapnel. A swift shock of pain starts in my stomach and creeps up to my heart, wrapping around it like a plague. That one sentence from her perfect lips chokes me of air, robs me of everything. I want to call her a liar, but I know she's not. I look down at Maverick, still breathing, machines beeping all around him, and tears blur my vision. I knew he was messed up, really messed up, and I still got involved. This is what I get. All the memories of us wash over me at once. The tender touches, the sweet words, the molten gazes from across the room, and the silent words we exchange simply by looking at one another. I clutch my stomach in physical pain. I hear her sheets rustle as she comes to stand on the other side of the bed. I meet her angry gaze. Staring each other straight in the eyes, we have a silent standoff. I know who loses these things. The other woman. The diamond and solid band sparkling on her left hand signifies my status in this duel. I feel, I feel the tears rolling down my cheeks like hot traitors. Worrying about what his wife thinks doesn't even register. The sting of Maverick's betrayal is all-encompassing. You knew he was fucked up, my inner voice whispers. A wife? He's married? A wedding? A bride? Another life I had no clue about. Lies. I shudder. Nothing but lies. Why, I ask. The question is involuntary. It just comes garbling out of my mouth on its own. Because he asked me to marry him five years ago. Why else? She doesn't realize I wasn't talking to her. I look down at Maverick. My fist balled so hard I think my nails are slicing me. I try to swallow down the bitterness. Why? Why didn't you tell me? You asshole. You lying asshole. You promised me honesty. Why, I scream. It's loud and echoing and I don't give a shit. Silent, complacent Windsor is gone. I suck in air trying to fill my lungs, but they refuse to fill. The wife backs away from his bed and sits on the cot. The self-satisfied look on her stunning, makeup-free face causes my blood to boil. I take a step away from Mav's bed, too. Like maybe more of his horrible lies might seep out into his comatose body and enter me. I stab my finger toward her. He never mentioned you, not once, I rasp. Her smile disappears. Finally, the in control Windsor seems to be making an appearance. I take another step away from him. I latch on to the only thing that strikes me as true. He never mentioned her, a wife, not once. Surely I'd have taken off at a fast pace the second he did. What's your name, I ask. I know my anger should be directed at Maverick, but there are too many unknown variables. She raises both arms over her head to fix her hair and sighs loudly. She wants me to think I'm inconveniencing her. 
Monica Hart, she enunciates her last name thoroughly. Bench. Okay, that's all I have time for today. So thank you for listening, and I am on all social media outlets. You can find me, Rachel Robinson, and have a great day, guys. Bye.